The Hall voltage in a semiconductor will be measured, in the magnetic field of a large electromagnet. The Hall coefficient obtained may be used to determine the density of the charge carriers, and may be combined with the measured resistivity to determine the mobility of these carriers. If a current carrying conductor placed in a perpendicular magnetic field, a potential difference will generate in the conductor which is perpendicular to both magnetic field and current. This phenomenon is called Hall effect. Let's begin with the experiment. Firstly, connect the electromagnet to the power supply. Now select kilo gauss on the meter and connect the gauss probe, now adjust zero, by rotating the knob, so that the display will show zero. While adjusting the zero make sure, the gauss probe should not be placed between the magnet. And place it between the center of electromagnet carefully. Now we are going to take reading of magnetic field on different values of current. Now set current to 1 ampere and note the gauss meter reading. Similarly increase the current to 2, 3, 4 ampere and note the corresponding readings. Now remove the gauss probe and place the Hall probe at the center of electromagnet and then connect the probe as shown. Now rotate the knob to the milliampere position and adjust the Hall current to 1 milliampere. Set current of electromagnet to 1 ampere by rotating the voltage control knob and note corresponding Hall voltage by selecting millivolt on meter. Similarly increase the electromagnet current to 2 ampere, 3 ampere. 4 ampere and note the corresponding Hall voltage. Similarly take readings for different Hall currents and put the variables in the formula and find the Hall coefficient and carrier density. Thank you for watching, hope you liked it.